Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Dino, and we back again with another video with crazy clips from all over the world. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you'll hang out for a bit. Smash that like and subscribe buttons. Hit that notification bell. Let's hop right into it. Take off to another level. God like within all of the devils. They said that I could never do this. I guess that I showed them better. That's crazy looking. The North Pole. And it's the center of the Earth magnetic field, known as the Taurus field. That black thing in the center of the whirlwind is the tallest mountain on Earth, far more taller than the Mount Everest. It's so tall that even it peaks reaching out the clouds. It's the Roots Negra or the Black Rock, also known as Mount Marin. Some people also called it Mount Zion. You wouldn't find this massive mountain existence in mainstream science and media because it's deliberately concealed. Because if the world knew that there is such a huge mountain in the center of the earth, it would change the course of history. This includes the true nature of our world will be rewritten and that will undo the globe-shaped earth theory and the entire timeline of the Earth from the beginning. And they don't want that. Look how the wind stream passes through that mountain. It blocks the wind stream because of its height and size. The Roots Nigra, or the Black Rock described by Mercator as 33 French miles in size, or roughly 40 miles in diameter. It's purportedly explain why all compasses point to this location. The biggest shareholder of all the major companies in the world is BlackRock. It's named after this mountain. Hmm, that's some interesting information. I don't know if that's true or not. I'll have to look more into that. In 10, the company signed an $11 million contract to develop LAWS as part of an alternative weapons program directed energy and electric weapon systems. As a result, a year later the laser system was tested. It was able to successfully disarm a flying target vehicle, and in 2017 the military performed a full-scale test in the Persian Gulf. In 2014, the USS Ponce, patrolling the Persian Gulf, was equipped with a 30 kilowatt laser system. The purpose of this was to check its operability and effectiveness in the field. The main advantage, as in the case of the railgun, is the low cost of ammunition. Less than one dollar. Yeah, less than one dollar because all it is is battery charges. tunnel went straight into the side of those mountains. Now I know y'all just heard what Joe Biden just said. Listen to this. I want to reiterate that appreciation today. I also convened my entire cabinet as part of a whole of government response. And that response is to increase the number and intensity of the extreme weather events and be wary we're going to be use all the resources available to the government to do it. Hmm? Wait a damn minute. He said it himself. Y'all gotta stop denying what's in your face, bro. At this point, if you don't believe nothing, something is wrong with you. Cause ain't no way. You cannot deny facts. Things that are happening are being put upon us. Not naturally happening. It's clear as day. Now TikTok, this video is for educational purposes only. But y'all please, wait the fuck up. 
everything around you that's going on out of the blue not a coincidence please share 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 this video y'all comment below what y'all think about it because i want to know stay blessed and stay safe mm -hmm. i want to know what y'all think about that as well she kind of looks like the lady from scary movie too if you construct a false reality you're actually going to start believing your own lies it is a fact when you speak things you start believing them not the first time but you can actually construct a reality where 10 years down the road you think that what happened was your lie and you don't want to be living in that world you don't want to be living in a world where you don't even recognize what the truth is I mean, have you ever been around someone who that's happened? Who, when you yep. talk to them, you realize this person isn't really grounded in reality. It's true. And you got to be wary of those kind of people. My new motto for mental health. Real eyes. Real eyes. <laughs> that's corny, man. They canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my penis in front of all my people at my agency. What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they did to get there? <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian that's bitter and jealous. But in my face, no, no, no. The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I've not taken the shortcuts. I've not been funded. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. I came in this business saying I was going to expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. Mm -hmm. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Cat Williams been going off lately. Bainbridge Island. That's where she was uh, institutionalized, right over there. Mm -hmm. There's this whole broken down like, mm -hmm. infirmary there. For years, every night there were lines of um, custodians, friends, and, and people, and, you know, part of the staff who would wait in line to rape her every day. You know, she went through a lot of shit. And it just disgusts me, you know, to know that there are some of the people that are part of that conspiracy are living here in Seattle in their comfortable, cushy little homes with their families. And, you know, it was 20, you know, it was 40 years. They basically just set her up and ruined her life, you know. They, um, you know, had some pictures taken of her when she was arrested for drunk driving. And um, it just, it was a big, huge scandal. She eventually was sent to a mental institution and given a lobotomy and raped every day for a year. Oh, that's pretty messed up, dude. I don't know what to think about that. And we need immigrants in this country. Forget the fact that... Grand Rising. Now, wait a minute. Didn't they say uh, we need to decrease, decrease population? Fauci Alchi? Mad Gates? Now, didn't they say we need to decrease... What it is, they want the people to come pick our products because they don't want to get their sorry ass out there and do the work. What we need is for you to cut them taxes, get rid of taxes, take a low grade, pay cut, get out and do some work. That's what we need and to get out of people's business. Tell them, bro. Tell them. We need them to start doing some work. See how it is. Stop telling us what to do. They don't even know what it's like. 3D glasses that are red on one side and blue on the other and you get them in movie theaters. He 
cut them up so that the lenses were separate and he'd stapled them together and he taped it on top of his lens for his iPhone. The red and the blue together it's an almost all visible light and so the light that can get through is going to be the infrared stuff. What happens is the phone gears up its uh, automatic gain control to try to get any light what at all. But there is no visible light that's coming in because of the red and the blue together. And he started taking videos with his iPhone with this makeshift thing of Washington, D.C. area, and he started to get a whole bunch of UFOs. Join Medical Today. Uh, it's pretty crazy. I don't know if you guys have heard of those goggles, the Dicyanion or whatever. I don't know. They're like these weird blue purple tint goggles. They're supposed to let you see that kind of stuff. We have video games, right, that exist. One is called No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky was created by like 14 college kids on one DVD. It has 80 quadrillion planets. The game never ends. And unlimited numbers of life forms as they travel throughout this game. The game never ends and life forms evolve and come into existence and everything else. There's a universe on one DVD. Now what happens if you put AI on that software? Then those beings become conscious and those animals become conscious. Another game that's, that exists, The Sims. The Sims are people that have jobs, go to work, have babies, go to parties, hang out, and all this kind of stuff. That's the video game. They're talking about putting AI into The Sims. They're going to become conscious. Now, what happens in The Sims and this other game, No Man's Sky, when these people become conscious from the AI and then write their own programs inside the program and create another conscious universe? The universe could be many, many layers deep. And that's just a hypothesis, but what I'm saying is we may not be in base reality, being that we could have been created by an ancestor of another universe. Yeah, how about that thought that we might not be in a base reality, we might be the construct of exactly what games like No Man's Sky are with AI. Government now wants you to work until you die. 65 is way too low, and we need to increase that. We need to do it according to life expectancy. Should voters in their 20s plan on having to work until they're 70? Yes, we're going to change it to reflect more of what uh, life expectancy should be. They should plan on their retirement age being increased. The average life expectancy is 79 years old, with higher mortality and injuries rates, which means when this new retirement age is applied, you will only get around five years post-retirement. Social Security is going to go bankrupt in 10 years. Medicare is going to go bankrupt in eight. Nikki Haley, who's going against former president Donald Trump, strongly believes in raising retirement age as a solution. This will be applied to Gen Z and millennials. How do we fix it? You reform the entitlements. We go to people like my kids in their 20s when they're coming into the system and we say the rules have changed. We change retirement age to reflect life expectancy. Americans are mad as a continuous stream of tax dollars flows overseas to Ukraine, Israel and migrants with now a potential impact on their retirement plans. But how do you feel about increasing retirement age while billions are sent overseas? Uh, no. This footage seen from a Russian military plane. This is what the North Pole looks like. A huge vortex. Now, everyone knows that the North Pole is a magnetic pole. So how does this apply to Flat Earth? If the North Pole is the center of the map, the center of the magnetic pole, where the Aurora Borealis is known to be seen. In fact, the colors of the Aurora Borealis are formed due to the electron field that changes the color of the posts in the atmosphere. That's how strong the Earth's North Pole is, as in this small example. So doesn't that vortex seen from planes look like a portal to you? The same shape as the Aurora Borealis. And the sun and moon fulfill the role of the magnetic ball in the prototype. Everything makes sense. As you can see, it's like a huge round magnet with a hole in the middle. The South Pole, that is, Antarctica, or rather the ice wall. Mm, that's interesting. It's a really cool thought right there. I'll have to look some more into that. This video is about swearing, but it's especially about swearing using a holy name of God. A lot of people will regularly swear to punctuate their own statements, or sometimes even enhance their self-perceived eminence. But often this is the result of overworked emotion, something that also comes with other major issues, the principle of which being that it destroys clear thinking. 
An example of this is in a heated argument where commonly one is more easily inclined to lie in order to get their point across or prove that they're right. When we're in that state, to add in aptly named curse words is to drag down that which is holy in order to support that which is wrong, egocentric, or trifling. Master Yogananda explains all of this very well. He says that to swear coarsely reveals weakness of character, absence of finesse, and lack of reverence. It can also even cheapen the mental atmosphere around us. Swearing exposes one's mental deficiency in having to resort to emotional exclamations instead of using the clarity of reason to prove a point. Those are some good words right there. Take them in. On December 8th, 2023, Chinese researchers unveiled they've pushed the boundaries of optical technology with the world's first invisibility cloak. The Invis Defense Coat doesn't just hide you. It tricks machine vision algorithms into seeing you as something non-human. This means you could walk past the most advanced security systems and drones without setting off a single alarm. The cloak could be used for things like creating invisible rooms, revolutionizing security measures, or enabling covert operations with unprecedented levels of concealment. Well, 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 isn't that interesting? It would be nice to have, uh, like, a Harry Potter cloak and just, you know, put it on, walk around invisible. That'd be trippy, man. The level of exploitation, which kind of is quite yeah. is awful. Like, and these people are literally exploiting kids. And, and the, like you said, though, the, the weird thing is, is the, care, the carelessness of them, the, the yeah. confidence of them that, that's coming through. Of, so uh, you're, you're paying her a few hundred quid, like... You know, at the, at the level of risk that these people were facing, they felt untouchable, clearly, where it's like, ah, oh, a few hundred quid. No, like, like if you're going to keep this hush, like, they're not taking the precautions at all. They're just being so whatever about it. It's called elite deviants, yeah. and they're so powerful, they know they're untouchable, yeah. so they'll do anything. Uh -huh. When these guys start to get caught in things, and there are lawsuits, I don't know if you've watched, is it Untouchable... The Harvey Weinstein documentary yeah, that's out. I haven't seen yeah. that, no. Well, there's parallels with Epstein and Weinstein. It's all the Steens. <laughs> yeah, all the Steens. Yo, that's messed up, man. Um, wow. The elite have no preferred religion. Their religion is deception. The only need they have for religion is to create division and justify war. The elite have no God. They don't even believe in the devil. Their God is the almighty dollar. And the more war, sickness, and death, the more powerful their God, the dollar is. Some have even said God is the abbreviation for gold, oil, and drugs. Everything that the elite capitalize on. They have no preferred political party. They utilize every one of them. They fund all parties. They advise all parties. They are masters of manipulation and psychology. They know the majority of humans better than they know themselves. They only make moves because they know how the majority of humans will respond and act. The question is, how long will we respond and react to their misinformation and propaganda? What is up with this? Why is... Why are schools closing for a solar eclipse? We had one back in 2016, 2017. No school shut down. They just took an hour and went outside and watched it. And they handed out glasses and all kinds of stuff. Why are they closing schools? Texas, Ohio, I'm sure North Carolina is probably going to close school because... But it, it begs to question, do they know something that we don't know? And are they preparing because they expect something to happen? Or are they going to be the reason something happens? Those of you that have time to investigate, dig into this a little bit more. Let me know what you come up with. I don't have time because I got to go to work. But I would be interested to see what everybody has to say. Because this just doesn't make sense to me at all. Like this just bizarre. Anyway, have a good day. Yeah, no, that doesn't make any sense to me either. Um, I'm going to have to look way into that. Right now we're all in the same room, the same physical world, but we're not in the same reality. Your experience of right now, your world, is very different than mine and very different than the people next to you. If right now you're, say, hooked on a state of anger, that's going to color your reality. You're going to be sitting here 
and we have such a thing called RAS, selective focus, that's going to affect it. You're going to be looking around, and you'll be like, hmm, is the AC on strong enough? Is it too hot? Is it too cold? Oh, damn, and I got this thing. That's going to color your experience. If you're someone who's scared, same thing. You're going to be sitting here like, are people staring at me? Are people judging me? Is Julian pointing at me? Is he going to point at me? That colors your reality. The internal colors the external. And rearranging the external won't help. you got to address the internal. When you do, you step into a new reality. Your experience of you changes, and the experience you have of the world around you changes as well. I mean, he's making some valid points there. I do agree with a good bit of that. I was about six years old when I went on my first official trip. I was going with my father and my grandpa Sinclair to the North Pole. It was a very glamorous destination. I remember the frozen, windswept Arctic afternoon. I was bundled up into a jeep and hustled out on a special top secret mission. I figured I was finally going to be let into the reason for the existence of this high security arctic space. That's when I understood just how powerful and wonderful my father was. Not gonna lie, that's really weird, man. That's pretty cool, man. They did look like giant tree trunks that have been cut. And uh, I wonder where that is and where they were going. Uh, oh, um, I mean, it must have been the, 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 ve the vehemence and how they pursued that yeah. exceeded the alleged crime, really. Okay. So there must have been some other motive. So this explains why only certain individuals are, are, are allowed to do this. Yeah. Broadcast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think that, you know, what, I mean, I'm going off track again, but walking the red carpet, when you walk down the red carpet, the implications are you're walking through the blood of the, the Goyim or the, the general populace. And because you're from bloodline, and that's what they're telling the you. The Goyim being the, a the mass word public for sheeple. Uh, you know, just sort of thing. Scum. Yeah. On the earth. Useless eaters is Kissinger, right? Yes. Like Kissinger said. Yeah. So if you're walking that carpet, you are, you know, that, that elitist mentality. Um, and, I mean, you know, like, Sammy Irwin refers to greatly that the, the fifth race, the so-called Nephilim, he calls them Nephilim, although there's lots of different racial types we can apply to these, uh, what Chris Thomas calls Valon, who uh -huh. come here to basically take over the planet. Yeah, uh, there's been a like a wrestling match to do that, and they can't. They have you have to use the front human human you know form to do yeah, it. Yeah, is this too reality, shocking otherwise? In this, in this, why explain? Sorry. Because uh, because we've been doing the consciousness of the human stream that's here now is so used to just seeing and being told that the human being is at the top of the food chain and we're the rulers of this and that and we're that that um it's too shocking. It has been too shocking to bring in a new species and do it. It's not. Con it's not. It's not conducive to keep the control if they're going to do it that way. So they need to hide behind the human form. That's all in the emerald tablets. Thoth's emerald tablets too. It explains how that was. Now done. these emerald tablets yeah. are nothing to do with what John Irwin found. His team, not his team. He was involved in the team and discovered two days. That's crazy, dude. Talking about how the elites view us as like. 
just eaters that do nothing. It's crazy. And the crystal tablets, emerald tablets. Fear is a form of spellcraft. They are trying to control your mind with it. If I can get you afraid, I can get you to remove the compassion for your heart. Your heart cannot control compassion and fear at the same time. They destroy each other. Once they've introduced fear and they've removed your compassion, they can get you to take actions that you wouldn't otherwise take. That's pretty true, though. So Serge Manis said that step one of Project Bluebeam was going to involve the manufacturing of artificially created earthquakes in strategic locations around the world. Again, to make it clear, he is stating in 1994 that the governments were in possession of technology that was going to be able to make this happen. Can the government cause earthquakes? I don't really know about that. Again, I'm just telling you what he said. These earthquakes, according to him, were going to unearth ancient artifacts, indicating that the religious doctrines of all nations have been misunderstood for centuries, thus discrediting all religions. Okay, we've yet to see anything like that. I haven't seen the ancient artifacts that have come up to discredit all of the religions. The second step, he says was going to involve a giant show from space. Essentially, they were going to use three-dimensional optical holograms that were going to project holographic images to beam across the side, across the sky, pardon, and that these images were going to include projections of Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Krishna, and it was all going to merge into one. Essentially, they were going to be able to accomplish this by using space-based satellites, and it was going to make the entire sky transform into a massive, a massive movie screen. They have the technology to do that at NASA. I don't know. I don't know. NASA really is just sort of a black budget, in my opinion. I have no idea what NASA does. I don't know why they're getting trillions and trillions of taxpayer dollars. I don't. I don't know what NASA does. Call me an idiot, but it, they they have an incredible budget for seemingly nothing, in my opinion. The third step is even more far-fetched. He says that this is going to involve artificial intelligence. Again, I just like to just state this over and over again. He was saying this in 1994. Artificial intelligence that was going to be able to use mind control to reach people inside of their minds. And this was going to involve rays from satellites that are being fed memories from our computers that have stored massive data about every single human being on Earth. And finally, the fourth step of Project Bluebeam was going to use various technologies in order to convince people that alien invasions were taking place, alien invasions, and even the rapture itself, thus making it easier for governments and the powers that be to take control of a fear-addled population. The NASA Blue Beam Project is the prime directive for the New World Order's absolute control over the populations of the entire Earth. That's a direct quote from him, that the NASA Blue Beam Project is the prime directive for the New World Order's absolute control over the pop. You guys think Blue Beam will be successful when they finally roll it out? I'm not so sure. I mean, but then again... What about all the people that aren't on the internet? What about all the people that don't really pay attention to anything? Hmm. If you tell the truth, agree that you can, or at least don't lie, then you have reality on your side. You gotta decide. You want reality on your side, or do you want reality against you? Now, I wouldn't recommend the whole reality against you thing, because you're not gonna win. You're gonna get flattened. You don't have the power to manipulate reality. I mean, you can bring new things into being, but you can't, you can't get away with a falsehood. And, and you can't get away with weak thinking either. No, it's true, you can. But you can bring new things into existence by manifesting them and bringing positivity into your surroundings.
Yeah, no, that's super cool to look at right there. I could look at that for quite a while. Because one of the problems with being anxious about something is you won't speak of it. And then if you don't speak of it, you, it's way bigger than it should be. As soon as you start talking about it, you cut it down to size. So as soon as you're brave enough to start talking about what you're afraid of, then you see that there's more to you than you thought and that there's less to the problem than you thought. No, it's true, though. It's true. All right, so I got one more for you. Right now, as we speak, Vladimir Putin is either planning on or contemplating an invasion of eastern Ukraine. Incredibly, there will be an objection from this side to this legislation when the people of Ukraine are crying out for our help and our assistance. My friend, uh, Senator Brasso, will now be proposing the House Amendment that has not one single sanction in it. What has happened? Where are our priorities? Is the IMF, no matter whether it's fixed or not fixed with this legislation, more important than the lives of thousands of people? Is that what we're talking about here? You know, I, I will say to my friends who were objecting to this, and there are a number of them on my side, you can call yourself Republicans. That's fine, because that's your voter registration. Don't call yourself Re Reagan Republicans. Ronald Reagan would never, would never go that, let this, this kind of aggression go unresponded to by the American people. And I, I've been embarrassed before on the floor of the Senate, I will tell the president, but I haven't been embarrassed this way about members of my own party. One of the most proudest aspects I've always felt of our Republican Party and the leadership of Ronald Reagan and others is we stood up for people. We are now faced with the inescapable reality that the Senate is about to enter a recess week having taken no meaningful action to aid the interim government in Kiev. We are left with one option, taking up and passing the House-passed bill the Senate Foreign Relations Committee bill contains provisions related to the International Monetary Fund that are unrelated to the crisis in Ukraine and not needed immediately and must be debated by this body. The senator from Alabama wants to speak, and I can assure him I will not remain on the floor to hear it uh, because I know what the senator from Alabama is going to say, that it has something to do with paying for out of defense spending I'll match my record with the senator of Alabama on defense spending any time, day or night. They don't even need this economic aid today. They have to sign an IMF agreement first. It's weeks before they even need what the senator from Wyoming wished to pass. I mean, why would we pass a bill that does no good as it relates to trying to push Russia back and isolate them well, we have an opportunity right now to pass a bill that shows that we're willing to isolate Russia. We do not need to be passing legislation that's not paid for in this fashion, and I would object to it. Something is very wrong with the foreign policy of the United States of America. And I don't think whether we reform the IMF or not is not going to send a message to Russia. This makes no sense. I would challenge any of my friends here to stand up here and explain why a sensible response to what Russia has done is to expand Russia's influence in the IMF and to diminish America's influence. And you know the most ridiculous thing about all of this is that the majority leader has, has, has filed cloture. We have well over 60 votes, so we're going to be back in about 11 or 12 days, whatever it is. Cloture will have been expired. It's well over 60 votes, and we will pass this. Mm -hmm. Some information from 10 years ago about Ukraine that most people don't know. All right. Well, that's another one for the archives. I appreciate all of you for hanging out. I hope you have a great rest of your day, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it may be for you. Until next time. Peace.